Yeah. Cute stuff, but when does an itch become more than just something to be scratched? Oh, about the time you scratch a hole in your brain. Imagine an itch so powerful that it compelled one woman to dig deep into her scalp until she reached her brain. Dr. Atul Gawande documents patient M, as she's known in the New Yorker article, The Itch. Most of her scalp scratching happened at night. While she slept, her fingernails found their way to the chronic itch and went to work. It wasn't until she had awakened one morning and found green fluid spilling down her face that she had any inkling of what she had done. This is an extreme example of the itch scratch cycle. You probably know it well. You brush up against a tree branch or an insect bites you, sending out a flurry of signals from your skin to your brain that there's an irritant that must be tended to. You drag your nails across the area, but with that burst of relief, you've now excited even more nerve endings around the itch, causing the need for more scratching and itching, and so on and so forth. It's one of the more common symptoms of conditions like Hodgkin's disease, allergic reactions, bacterial or fungal infections, skin cancer, psoriasis, dandruff, scabies, lice, poison ivy, sun damage, or even plain old dry skin. The problem is when your immune system is out of whack or hypervigilant. And this is where stress and itching come in, sometimes beginning the tail wagging the dog scenario. The higher our stress response, the more our immune system engages, causing inflammation in the body, and the more we scratch to remove the phantom itch. And that's when you become alarmingly aware of the delicate meat bag that encases you. In fact, according to Robert Knagel in his article The Ignominous Itch, there are even rare instances of people committing suicide because of the agony of the itch. The feedback loop between the mind and body are at the very heart of the matter. This is also a feature of Morgellons disease, a self-diagnosed condition in which the illness can manifest as sores, itching, fatigue, pain, and even the sensation that insects are crawling underneath the skin. Those who suffer from Morgellons also report the discovery of fibers, specks, or even crystal-like substances embedded in their skin. Though when a few fiber samples were analyzed by medical researchers, they found the fibers to be from very common sources like clothing. In 2012, the Centers for Disease Control released the results of their 115 patient study on the matter, reporting, quote, we were not able to conclude based on this study whether this unexplained dermopathy represents a new condition or wider recognition of an existing condition such as delusional infestation. One thing we know for sure, though, is that the itching sensation is contagious. It's similar to seeing someone yawn, and then exciting the mirror neurons in your brain can easily trigger a response from our central nervous system. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out these three videos as well. And don't forget to visit us at StuffToBlowYourMind.com. It's a tingling sensation that can strike at any time. It's an itch, and it will be scratched. If you're watching this right now, chances are pretty high that you have skin. It's a human being's largest organ, and if you stretched out the skin of an average adult, it would cover 22 square feet. Those guilt-manifested stains may not be going anywhere, but your skin definitely is. On the extreme end of the spectrum, excessive scrubbing can actually wear away your skin, the same as if you took a sheet of sandpaper to it.